in this video we're going to be using the create user wizard created user event to add user to a row and that sounds funny um, remember we use the create uh, user wizard which is uh, the which is the um, login control to render a registration form on our website so we had this wizard that we used to create uh, render a registration page on a form this control has many events and in this video we'll use one of its events which is the created user so this particular wizard this particular control it has the created user event which is raised after a user has been created so whenever you create a, a user there's an event that is raised so we want to make sure that when the register button is clicked so whenever the user fill in the uh, registration form we want to make sure that after they click the button we add the user to a particular role so we'll then create an event handler so we'll create an event handler which we check to see if this particular user that is being created has been added to the role that we want to add them to if the user has not been added to the role in the past then we add the username of this new user to the role that we specify uh, we'll create two module registration page so in this video I mean in the yeah in this video uh, I'll be creating two module registration page which is going to be for our different roles we'll create the staff registration page and we'll create a lecturer registration page we'll write the appropriate code to add the user to the role after the user is created so um, one thing I want to point out to you that uh, let me let me show you remember this is our previous registration page simple there's nothing to it all we do is just add the create user wizard to the page so this is our previous so what I've done is I've actually taken the liberty to create two more um, I've created two more registration page so I've created one registration page called staff register so it's just nothing but a uh, simple page with a another create user wizard so I've created the staff register let's look at it so this is staff register and I've created the lecturer register page as well so I've created two pages and it's very simple page all I did was just to add the uh, let's look at the lecturer registration page as well lecturer register ASPX all I did was just to add the create user wizard but what is different about these two um, pages is that when, when when I had the uh, create user wizard to the page I then went to the event you know how to access the event so this is the event button so if I click on this little orange lightning button then I used this created user event so if you look at the name the function of the event that is raised after the user is created so I double click in it so all you have to do is just double click inside and it's going to add the created create user wizard underscore created user event handler for you so then I write this code inside very simple code what it's doing is said if a user is in row of staff so it's checking if a user is not remember I was telling that whenever you see this exclamation mark it means not so if the user is not in this row of staff then I want to add this uh, user to row I want to add this user then I get the username of the person that they put inside this create user wizard one and I want to put them I want to put the username inside the staff row very simple if the user is not already in this row staff what I want to do is I want to add the user to this row of staff simple and I did the same thing for the lecturer registration page if you look at if I select this and I go to the event and I add this event just by double clicking inside and I just uh, write this if statement to check if they're not already in the lecturer uh, role then I want to add the username of this person that just registered to the lecturer role very simple so once I've done that now created I also went ahead I took the uh, advantage uh, uh, created two folders remember we already have one folder in the past which is for staff only then inside there I had another page 
say staff only page and I didn't do anything special all I say is this is a private page only visible to staff members only and I also take the time to create another page just for the lecturers so we want to make sure what I'm trying to do is just make sure that I protect this page only for the lecturers and I protect this page only for the staff so even if somebody is authenticated as a lecturer it doesn't matter because they will not be able to access the one for the staff and the student any student that can view any other pages that is not a member of the role for staff or lecturer will not be able to view any of those pages inside a folder so and I've created one for uh, lecturers as well which is a page only visible to lecturers so what we do what I also do is remember if I want to protect a folder I can do so in the web.config file I already talked about that in the previous video and also so because of that I had a web.config file to protect this folder only for the lecturers and I had a web.config file so let me show you the content of the first web.config file very simple remember we talk about this authorization uh, code so all you have to do is say you want to allow remember we're looking for uh, the one for the staff now so I want to allow roles I want to ask only the staff roles but I want to deny users okay the problem is this is if you put a question mark all you're saying is you want to deny only the non-authenticated user so it doesn't make sense so what you want to do is you want to put asterisk inside so asterisk makes deny all users except the people that belongs to the staff role the question mark means just anonymous users remember we talked about the question mark in the past and they it said it's only for the anonymous user so what we want to do is we want to allow the roles only for staff but we want to deny all other users so let's save that so now let's go to the lecturer uh, web.config file as well as you see this one is already done so and I said I was going to show you how to use the access rule as well instead of doing it here you can also do it inside the website administ configuration ASP.NET configuration tool let me show you how to do that uh, so if you go to security you will see the access rules so if I manage the access rules you can create the access rule okay manage one as you see if I choose the lecturer here you see now what is what this is doing is is actually allow just lecturer and deny all other people as you see he allows the lecturer but he deny all so if you select the staff only so you can add a new access rule if you want to so the staff only so this one the permission is the staff is allowed but all other users are denied so is it the permission is denied and it said all so this is how you so you can create you can, I can add an, another access say for example if I add another role I can do the same way I can say yeah, I can select a role here then I choose allow or deny and select anonymous users or all users and you know so I'm just gonna cancel it because so you don't have to do it inside the web just like I said this is just the front end for the web dot com, uh, web dot config file so you can use the web dot config file if you know what you're doing or you can do everything here so this is what I want to show you in this video so what you have to do is create um, uh, the funny thing is this particular website you're actually using this my website where you're watching this video is created in PHP and this is actually the formula that I use so whenever somebody registers to the page they get a different registration page so when you when somebody said they're interested in watching maybe a PHP video I uh, they get the PHP uh, registration link which they use to register and as soon as they register it's going to add them to the role of just the PHP so they can only get access to the PHP videos and if somebody is interested in an HTML video that's the only thing that they get to watch and they will not be able to access other videos but if somebody said they want the PHP and the ASP.NET I had them to both roles so they'll be able to see just both videos so this is a very powerful 
uh, technique to use if you know how to actually configure it on your website so in the next video we are going to be looking at how to actually put this thing into use in real life we're going to be demonstrating it to make sure that everything works we're going to create users and add them to the roles thank you